The Crevasse is Edgar Müller's arguably most famous work. More than six million people watched it being created on YouTube. His latest painting in London is also likely to become a crowd puller. Edgar Müller first entered a street art competition at the age of 16 and has never looked back. The German street artist has specialized in creating 3D images. Few people expect to see a picture on the pavement. And if it's only a small picture, then most people will just walk by. 3D images are very big. They arouse interest because they don't make sense when viewed from the side. And people ask, what's that? I can't interpret it, but it looks like a picture. And when they look through the lens, there's this big aha effect. And that means people spend longer looking at the picture. Müller didn't study art. He taught himself the basics of 3D painting. To create the illusion of three-dimensionality in his new work, Evolution, he created a number of lines running across the picture with the help of ropes. They all come together at a set point, the central or vanishing point. This is where Edgar Müller also installs a special lens that he has developed. It makes the picture look even more three-dimensional. Most people have never come across a picture like this. They don't know where to stand. The lens attracts them to the right spot right away and enables them to see the whole picture, the whole scene immediately. It's a 180-degree lens. Street painting is now featured at festivals throughout the world, but its roots go back to 16th century Italy. Back then, street painters painted images of the Madonna in return for small sums of money and were dubbed Madonari. Nowadays, it's 3D pavement art that attracts most of the attention. The big names in the scene are the British artists Julian Beaver and Joe Hill, but also Edgar Müller from Germany. He's regularly paid to contribute to advertising campaigns. The assignments enable him to finance his own artwork. For a start, everyone's talking about 3D. 3D cinema is pretty new, and that's probably got something to do with it, although it's a completely different technique. But for most people, 3D is 3D. Many think that they have to wear those special bicolored glasses. But for young people, it doesn't have this kind of dusty Rembrandt replica feel. It feels modern. But this artistic genre involves battling with the heavens. Time and time again, rain has destroyed his work. If the paint, in this case household emulsion, isn't completely dry, a downpour will wash away parts of the 8 by 18 meter square painting. It's exhausting. It's a test of patience and physically tiring, but I know how I feel when it's complete. And that keeps me going when I have those moments when I think I've had enough and I'm going to stop. That's when I think, carry on, carry on. It's like when you hit the wall in a marathon and you have to get beyond it. The painting was meant to be completed today, but rain has delayed work. But his audience is fascinated anyway. I've seen some things of his work on the uh, internet before. Yeah, I've too. heard his name before. And it's really cool seeing it in real life. Oh, it's fantastic. It's absolutely brilliant. They've just redone this whole square. Um, so we spent quite a bit of money getting it all replanted and repaved. So to have something like this down, especially for the Olympics, is brilliant. Really, really, really excited. Can't wait to see how it turns out. I know today was meant to be the unveiling of it. And obviously the weather and the elements have got the better of us. And he keeps on painting over it as well, which is what's so upsetting for him. But it's not going to dampen his spirits. Thanks to a lot of willpower and long hours, Edgar Müller manages to finish his work just one day late. You can see Evolution in London's Portobello Road until the end of July.